When sharing a link on a social platform, for example, like Twitter, most platforms have what are called social preview cards. Social preview cards are an important part of an application's visual branding, and I believe every application should have these, as it provides a clean way to show a preview of the page that you're sharing. So in this quick video, I want to show you how I set these up inside of a Nux3 application that I recently built called Web Dev Daily. Alright, so here inside of the browser I have Web Dev Daily spun up locally and what I want to mention is that we're going to be using what is called the Nux Dev Tools to preview how these social cards are going to look on various platforms. Now not only is it useful for that, it's also a great tool to use while developing with Nux as it gives you a lot of insight into your application. So if you are interested in learning more about the Nux Dev Tools, I did create a little intro video not too long ago and you can find the link to that video down below in the description. Okay, so here inside of VS Code, I have the repo open for Web Dev Daily. And if we take a look at one of the pages, for example, we can open up this privacy page. Inside of the script tag, we're going to see what is called the Use SEO Meta Composable from Nuxt. Now, this composable accepts an object, and within this object, we're able to define various SEO properties. And under the hood, this composable is going to then set each property that we define correctly within the head tag for that particular page. So with those properties set inside of the composable, here inside of the browser for this privacy page, we're able to see those tags correctly assigned in the head section. Now to see a preview of what this link is going to look like, we want to open up what is called the Open Graph tab. And to get to that, you can select on these dots down here, or yours may be on the side, depending on what version you have and how large your screen is. And then we want to select on Open Graph. And on the right hand side, you're going to see what this link is going to look like if you were to share it on Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn. And this is a really helpful feature because you don't need to deploy your application in order to see what this link is going to look like if you were to share it on various platforms. Now another awesome feature that the Nux Dev Tools have within this Open Graph tab is the ability to inform you of what tags you're missing in order to configure out the social preview cards properly. So for example, right now we have all the correct values defined, so we're not going to see any issues. But if, for example, we come back into this privacy file and we just comment out this whole composable, and then we save this and head back over to the application, then first off, we're going to see that our shareable link no longer looks correct because we're not defining the values to properly format this. But if we were to scroll down within this open graph tab now, we're going to have a new section called missing tags, and it's going to inform us of all the missing tags that are needed in order to properly go ahead and configure out this social preview card. So this is going to list off the tags that are missing and then a brief description for what that tag is doing. And if you do want to learn more about what this is actually doing in more depth, you can actually click on the tag title and it's going to open up a new uh, tab with some additional information from the Open Graph protocol. And the best part about this is for all the missing tags that you have, there's actually a code snippet which you can then just copy and paste into that page's component to fill in the missing tags. And then all you want to do is for each property, you just want to fill in the correct information for that particular page. Now for this privacy page, we are using static data for all these properties. However, you are able to use dynamic data within this composable. So for example, if we take a look inside of the challenges folder, we have a file with a param of challenge ID. And then if we scroll down here to the SEO meta composable, you can see that I'm still defining all the same properties, but for this page, the values are coming from an API call. So I'm just using some template literal syntax to dynamically output the values for some of these properties. Now, one additional thing that I like to mention, and I'm not 100% sure if this is correct or not, but in the Nux documentation, it does say that if you are inserting tags that are reactive, then you should use what is called the computed getter syntax. And what I think this means is that, for example, if you have a description tag that is going to use this variable of title that is reactive, then you should be using this computed getter syntax because this title which is a ref could be updated. And I think for it to update properly within the SEO meta, then it needs to use this syntax. Now on the challenge page, the reason why we don't need to use this syntax is because although these values are dynamic and coming from an API, they are not reactive, meaning they will not be changing on this page once they are set here within this composable. All right, so hopefully you can see how easy and straightforward it is to configure these social preview cards for your application using the Use SEO Meta Composable along with the Nux Dev Tools. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it down below and subscribe if you're new for more content like this. And if you want to improve your front end skills, be sure to check out an application that I've been building the last several months that I just released called Web Dev Daily. 
It's a platform that will provide you with a new UI design challenge each and every day to go ahead and convert to code using a built-in IDE. And once you complete the challenge, it'll then be added to your profile, which can then be used as a portfolio to show off all of your work. So be sure to check it out and sign up for your free account. You can find a link down below in the description. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.